Hey guys, so um, it's been a little while and um, there's been various things going on in my life um, that are partly to blame, partly just I haven't, you know, had the motivation or time or whatever to sit down and film. And um, I think it's been, I uploaded my last empties video like the first week of May of last year and I probably filmed it who knows how long before that. So it's been a good 10, maybe 11 months since I filmed an empties video and I'm sure I've gotten rid of some things, recycled them or whatever in that time frame, um, but I have a lot of stuff here to go through and uh, it's kind of the, the curse of the YouTuber, like once you go down a path of I want to film all my empties or I want to film all my hauls, then you kind of just like stockpile stuff and let it accumulate and unless you're really good about filming once a month or not about anything but filming that type of video once a month or on a somewhat regular basis it just it's just junk that just piles up so um, the title of this video may or may not be a little clickbaity um, and if you want to criticize me for that you're well within your right to. Um, I just want to say, and I, I'm, I was debating whether or not to film a separate video about this because I I take it seriously and um, I don't want to trivialize it or anything like that, but um, you know, mental illness is a serious thing. Um, I don't take it lightly. Um, one of the reasons I was gone, I haven't filmed or uploaded in about a month, um, is that my aunt, um, my dad's sister, um, committed suicide, um, mid-February. Um, so you can imagine that's, you know, very difficult on the family and, um, you know, I, I don't have the same issues that she did. Um, you know, she had various problems over the years. Um, she had just turned 60 last February, so she killed herself like a week before her 61st birthday, um, which is obviously very sad and very hard um, for the family to deal with. And, um, you know, part of my not being available to film is, you know, being out of town for various things. So. Um, I just want to put that out there and I don't think it's healthy <laughs> um, for me to have held on to this sort of thing. Um, it's the kind of thing where once you start it's hard to, you know, just cut your losses and, and get rid of stuff. Um, so, you know, my point in, in I guess, mentioning that and, and kind of ending or beginning this video on a kind of down note is that um, you know I think my holding on to all this stuff that's trash and just my general approach to YouTube and like collecting and stuff is is kind of an OCD thing um, and it's not healthy it really isn't um, so I'm just putting that out there and, um, you know, I, I do see a therapist. I'm not, you know, being, I guess, um, I, I'm trying to look after myself is what I'm getting at. Like I'm, you know, I try to go to yoga once a week at least and, and just do various things to kind of, um, maintain my own mental health. So, um, with that being said, you know, I, I had Googled because I, I contemplated making a video about um, like the way suicide affects a family and um, you know it affects everyone different obviously and you know I'm happy that she's at peace now like obviously someone is in a great deal of pain um, to do that so um, we all miss her and we're all very sorry that, you know, we couldn't have done more to help her. Um, yeah, but anyway, I, I was thinking about dedicating an entire video 
to that and I still might I just obviously I needed some time to process kind of my own feelings my own grief um, be there for my dad and other family members and um, you know just just process it really um, but I, I did look I just like searched for suicide in like the YouTube search box because I was curious um, what else was out there and um, you know YouTube there a lot of people have you know said horrible things about YouTube because of the way they're doing subscriber numbers and all that recently which you know could be completely val valid um, but the first thing that popped up when you search suicide is, you know, uh, if you need help, call this number sort of thing in the, the YouTube search results. So, um, and, and that's not, you know, a, a sort of panacea is the right word. It's not going to solve everything. It's not going to prevent everything. Um, but I'm glad at least, you know, YouTube, um, doing what little it can, um, is so um anyway that that's kind of i guess it in a nutshell i just wanted to kind of put that out there before i talk about all this stuff um and i am definitely looking forward to getting it in the recycling bin and out of my house um i am slowly trying to kind of declutter and minimize and obviously holding on to empty items that aren't useful anymore does not help with that goal so um yeah anyway um I will probably put a um time stamp to get to the actual empties in case um no one really wants to listen to all of that but anyway um, I might have to break this into different components, um, now that I've like pumped myself out as well, um, different categories because, you know, this video is already almost 10 minutes and I don't want to make it too long, so. Um, and I did try to film this once before, maybe a couple weeks ago, and my cat like threw up on that chair behind me as I was filming. Um, I don't know if I still have footage of that, if I haven't looked at it. If it's funny, I might put it at the end as a blooper, if it's just disgusting. No one wants to see that. Okay, um, so I have multiples of some of these items and these are all um, like bath body products. Um, so I have four of the um, Nivea in shower body lotion um, this is the very dry skin almond oil um, it is what it says it is you put it on after you've cleansed your skin in the shower um, it's just a re it's like the fastest way you can moisturize your skin um, I have very dry skin so if I don't moisturize it's uncomfortable um, and even if you don't have very dry skin um, they make a few other um, types of this like a I don't know different scent different whatever um, so you may want to try that if this is too moisturizing I don't find I mean it says moisturizes instantly no sticky feel very dry skin so um, yeah I like it it's I think um, Target is one of the cheaper places you can find it they sell it at Ulta but I think it's a little bit cheaper at Ulta or at um, Target so um, anyway four of those still currently using have one in my shower now um, I have what's gonna be next um, the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian foreplay moisturizing shower cream gel this is the pistachio caramel um, scent and this is 13 fluid ounce I bought this as part of the pack that came out um, I think they still sell it actually it's the uh, it's this and um, the boom boom cream so um, this was nice. Um, I believe it's, I mean, it has ammonium laurel sulfate. So I don't know if it's technically sulfate free, but it doesn't have sodium laurel sulfate. Um, yeah, anyway, I thought this was, I can't get this open to smell it. 
it was it was nice it smelled nice um for 13 fluid ounce i think it's kind of overpriced for what it is i'm not saying i would never purchase it again as a treat but um it's a little expensive for just you know every day um i have the sea booth honey almond nourishing bath and body wash um i think i also got this or i think i got this from ulta um and they sell it i believe at target i'm not sure um but this one is free of parabens, sulfates, mineral, mineral oil, and petrolatum. Um, it says it has the conditioning power of honey and almond. Um, this one, it, it does the job. Um, I mean, it smells okay. Um, I don't, like, love it, but it's not objectionable to me. Um, and I have one in my shower now. I think I purchased another one. It's just, it's pretty affordable, I think. For 16 fluid ounce, it's I think between five and ten dollars, so um, pretty good. All right, I have this Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Mafura Oil um, Intensive Hydration Body Wash. Um, this is 13 fluid ounce. It's the Dry Skin recipe. Um, also has no parabens, no sulfates, no phthalates, no paraffin no mineral oil, no synthetic fragrance, no animal testing. So, I mean, it's very natural. Um, ew, this one's like leaking. I purchased this along with another one from Shea Moisture, which unfortunately kind of exploded in the box, so I wasn't able to use it. Uh, but I did prefer the smell of that one to this one. I, I don't think I would repurchase this one. I just... I mean, the, the smell wasn't so bad that I wasn't able to use it, but it wasn't something I would probably purchase again okay um I have this one this is the number seven luxurious foaming shower oil uh, containing nourishing argan and grapeseed oils um, this was really nice um, I'm not sure I can really smell much now anymore um, but I remember really enjoying the scent, and I think I purchased this from um, drugstore.com before they kind of went defunct. Um, but if I saw this again, I think I would definitely pick it up. Um, this was 6.7 um, fluid ounce or 200 ml. Um, I don't recall how much it was, but I don't think it was that expensive. Um, so yeah, so if anyone knows where to purchase that in the U.S., I would be I would be eager to hear. All right. Uh, this is, this, this has water. Um, does anyone else do that? Like, if there's, like, that much soap or something in, they'll pour water in and kind of, like, shake it up and make it a really, um, diluted soap, you know, just to kind of get all the rest of it out. Um, my, my husband will have, like, two almost nearly empty bottles with, like, that much in, He'll leave them in the shower and then he'll open a new one. And I just <laughs> don't understand it. Um, so he's like, but I can't get it out. And I'm like, you turn it upside down and then, you know. Um, so that's probably part of the hoarder in me, like have to make sure I, I use every last drop. Otherwise I'm like, you know, wasting it. Um, anyway, this is the L'Occitane shower oil. Um, a lot of people really love this and swear by it. For me, it's okay. Um, I mean, it has a nice scent, um, kind of a perfumey almond. Um, I, I guess for me, it's just not worth the price. I know some people use it to shave their legs, um, or you kind of think put it in the bath to make bubbles. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's just it's not really worth it to me. Um, if you are sort of an almond fiend, I would recommend the Dr. Bronner's 18-in-1 Hemp Almond Pure Castile Soap. Um, this is 16 fluid ounce. I think, I don't recall exactly how much it is. I, I mean, it's probably more expensive than like Caress or Suave or one of those, but um, it is very natural. It's um, water, organic coconut oil, potassium hydroxide organic palm kernel oil, organic olive oil, organic hemp oil, organic jojoba oil, 
natural almond fragrance, citric acid, and I can never say this, to, 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 tocopherol, vitamin E, whatever it is, has all the crazy writing on it. Um, I know some people really like using this as um, a brush cleaner, um, and it says to dilute it, but I just, yeah, it says one small squirt applied to wet washcloth. Um, I just, I just, you know, I probably use too much, but yeah, and this one still smells really good. If you're looking for like a really almondy marzipan, like sweet gourmand type almond scent, this one's really good. I have a larger, it might be 32 ounce in my shower that I just started. So, um, yeah, this is a, this is a good one. All right. And then also the, um, hemp rose fragrance, same size. This one smells like pink lemonade to me, which is the strangest thing. It doesn't smell like rose at all. I mean, it has more of the citrus type coming through. I mean, it has citric acid in it. It says natural rose fragrance. Organic hemp oil. I don't know. I mean, if, if pink lemonade appeals to you, then by all means go out and, and purchase that. Um, I don't mind it, but if I had to choose, I'd probably go for the almond or um, they have an unscented one as well. Um, if that's your thing. Okay, so um, this is the Body Shop Ginger Sparkle Shower Gel, and um, this is 8.4 fluid ounce. Um, this one had a nice scent to it, kind of spicy, um, and this was from the Body Shop like, I don't know, 2014 maybe, I don't recall, maybe even earlier. Um, but it was just one of those things like I would use a certain amount of it during the holiday season and then I'd be like, you know, done with it. So this Christmas holiday season or whatever, I was just like, you know, let's finish this up. So cute little gingerbread man. Um, I haven't seen that come back and what else have they done over the holidays? Like candy apple or something? I don't know. I would, I would not mind if they brought that one back. Okay. Um, this is a, it's getting really gross in here. Um, this is a little sample of the Boom Boom Cream, which I have the full size now from that set. So, you know, it's good to try. Um, this is the Brilliance Glycolic Hand and Body Scrub from Julep. Um, this one smelled really good. It had a um, apricot seeds. That's what it has. Um, so it has like a physical exfoliant and an AHA exfoliant. Um, I mean, it was nice. It, these kinds of caps always seem to get really gunky and gross in the shower. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think I would repurchase this. It was, you know, kind of an interesting exper experiment. Um, I have the Paula's Choice, like AHA lotion now, which I think does more in terms of an AHA than this did and um, I have like sugar scrubs and whatever that I use for my legs so I don't really feel like I need this although it does smell better the Paula's Choice is not you know that great all right and then two little travel guys um, this is from the brand Not Soap Radio um, when life gives you one too many lemons and you've misplaced your happy place and this one is the stuff that Cupid dips his arrows in because sometimes fate needs an assist. Um, this one I remember being really fruity. So, and this one obviously is very lemony. I think these were both from Birchbox samples. Um, so yeah, so they were they were nice. They did the job. I think these are sulfate free. Um, I mean, obviously that's something I look for in a body wash because I have dry skin. Um, and eczema, so um, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind having these again, but I didn't love them so much that I felt the need to go out and um, repurchase. And there's gunk all over them. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna end this segment and I think continue on with hair after maybe I got some tea or something. Um, I had a cold that I'm still kind of getting over, so. Um, anyway, stay tuned if you'd like to see more. <laughs> Thank you for watching this somewhat strange video, um, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.